see Jesus lifted high, a banner that flies across this land, that all men might see the truth and know he is the way to heaven. We want to see, we want to see, we want to see Jesus lifted high. We want to see, we want to see, we want to see Jesus lifted high. Step by step, we're moving forward, little by little, taking ground. Every prayer, a powerful weapon, strongholds come tumbling down and down and down and down. We want to see Jesus lifted high, a banner that flies across this land, that all men might see the truth and know He is the way to heaven. We're going to see. We're gonna see, we're gonna see Jesus lifted high. We're gonna see, we're gonna see, we're gonna see Jesus lifted high. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you always. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Brothers and sisters. Let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You are sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. We came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and, and on, on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You, you take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are, you are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For, for you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Gladden us with holy joys, Almighty God, and make us rejoice with devout thanksgiving. For the ascension of Christ your Son is our exaltation. And where the head has gone before in glory, the body is called to follow in hope. Through our Lord Jesus Christ your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Let us now listen to the word of God as it is proclaimed to us. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. In the first book, Theophilus, I wrote about all that Jesus did and taught from the beginning until the day when he was taken up to heaven after giving instructions through the Holy Spirit to the apostles whom he had chosen. After his suffering, he presented himself alive to them by many convincing proofs, appearing to them during 40 days and speaking about the kingdom of God. While staying with them, he ordered them not to leave Jerusalem but to wait there for the promise of the Father. This, he said, is what you have heard from me. For John baptized with water, but you will be baptized with the Holy Spirit not many days from now. So when they had come together, they asked him, Lord, is this the time when you will restore the kingdom to Israel? He replied, it is not for you to know the times or periods that the Father has set by his own authority, but you will receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem, in all Judea and Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. When he had said this, as they were watching, he was lifted up, and a cloud took him out of their sight. While he was going, and they were gazing up toward heaven, suddenly two men in white robes stood by them. They said, Men of Galilee, why do you stand looking up toward heaven? This Jesus, who has been taken up from you into heaven, 
will come in the same way as you saw him go into heaven. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. God mounts his throne to shouts of joy. Oh, sing your praises to the Lord. God mounts his throne to shout. trumpet blast sing praise to our god praise unto our king god mounts his throne to shouts of joy who oh, sing your praises to the lord god is king of all the earth sing with all your skill to the king of all nations god enthroned on his throne to shouts of joy oh sing your praises to the lord a reading from the letter of saint paul to the ephesians brothers and sisters i pray that the god of our lord jesus christ the father of glory may give you a spirit of wisdom and revelation as you come to know him so that with the eyes of your heart enlightened, you may know what is the hope to which he has called you, what are the riches of his glorious inheritance among the saints, and what is the immeasurable greatness of his power for us who believe, according to the working of his great power. God put this power to work in Christ when he raised him from the dead and seated him at the right hand in the heavenly places, far above all rule and authority and power and dominion, and above every name that is named, not only in this age, but also in the age to come. And he has put all things under his feet, and has made him the head over all things for the church, which is his body, the fullness of him who fills all in all. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Be to God. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory, Glory to you, O Lord. The eleven disciples went to Galilee, to the mountain to which Jesus had directed them. When they saw him, they worshipped him, but some doubted. And Jesus came and said to them, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go therefore and make disciples of all the nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of, its, and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to observe everything that I have commanded you. And remember, I am with you always to the end of the age. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, you Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. As we celebrate today the, the Feast of the Ascension of the Lord, I recall as a young boy being puzzled as to why we are celebrating Jesus' Ascension. I remember thinking to myself, why are we celebrating Jesus' leaving us? What is there to celebrate? And if Jesus loves us, why did he leave us? As a young boy, I couldn't really understand the rationale behind this feast. When I was 13 years old, my family's immigrating to Canada meant that I had to leave behind all my friends and relatives in Korea. And I remember the last Sunday before my departure, the Sunday school teachers with my classmates had a farewell party for me. 
I was very touched by their friendship and love. But at the same time, I was very sad. Based on my experience, parting and saying goodbye is not a happy occasion, and I'm sure many will agree with me. But the truth is, when Jesus left this world and ascended into heaven, He left us, and He didn't leave us at the same time. Before ascending into heaven, Jesus told His disciples, I will be with you always, even to the end of time. This was Jesus' promise and assurance to us that He will be with us at all times. Cardinal Newman said the following about Jesus' ascension to help us understand what the ascension of the Lord meant for us. Jesus' ascent bodily is his, is his descent spiritually. He is taking up our nature up to God. It is the descent of God into us. He has truly, though in an unknown sense, taken us to God and brought down God to us. It is true that Jesus is no longer present with us as one we can meet in the ordinary way, like meeting up with a friend for a coffee or going out for dinner together. And while Jesus is not present in a physical sense, He is really present to us both spiritually and sacramentally. Jesus is not only present to us, He also feeds us in the Eucharist. Every time we celebrate the Eucharist, the celebrant says the following words, This is my body. This is my blood, using the very same words that Jesus used, because they truly are. And while Saul was persecuting Christians, Jesus spoke to him, Saul, Saul, why are you persecuting me? After his ascension, Jesus is not only present to us, but he is present in us. This experience helped St. Paul understand, and he later taught. Just as the body is one and has many members, and all the members of the body form one body, so it is with Christ. Christ is the head, and we are the members of His body. During His earthly life, Jesus fulfilled the mission for which He was sent by His Father in heaven. But in a sense, His work is not yet completed. Jesus called the twelve disciples at the start of His public ministry, and at, the, and at the time of His ascension into heaven, He commissioned them to carry on, to continue the mission He began. But what does that leave us? Who exactly are the people that are called to carry on this mission? Over 2,000 years ago, Jesus chose several uneducated fishermen and a public sinner, a tax collector, who weren't exactly good role models of society nor were they particularly savvy in marketing strategy, I'd say. But Jesus doesn't see things exactly the way we do. God can see beyond the present. He sees our potential. He knows what we are capable of, of achieving and who we are capable of becoming. God saw potential in an angry Saul who was persecuting the church. He later became an apostle, a defender of the church, who died for his faith as St. Paul. God saw a leader, his representative, in the fisherman Simon. He later became the first pope of the church. Do you know what God sees in you? Do you know what God is calling you to do today? If you happen to be thinking, God can be calling me because I am not qualified, or I don't know how to do it. Remember, God doesn't call those who are qualified, but He qualifies and empowers those he calls. There's a story told of a mother who brought her little boy to a famous cathedral that had lots of stained glass windows. As he was watching the sunlight shining through the stained glass windows, the boy asked his mother, Who are those people in the windows? She said, They are saints. He looked at, at the windows and said, Well, now I know what saints are. They are people who let the light shine through. That little boy got it right. That's what a saint is. Someone who lets the light of Jesus Christ through his life. When we carry on Christ's mission, allowing the light of Christ to shine through us, we are able to evangelize, to bring healing and blessing to our world. We don't have to be qualified. We just have to be faithful and let the light shine through.
I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, who was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, He rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. We believe that Jesus is the Lord of life. In his name we make our prayers to the Father. For the Pope and all those charged with shepherding the Church, that the Lord will always be their inspiration, we pray. Lord, Lord, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For world leaders working to bring peace into the world, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For our communities of faith, that we will always truly be an Easter people, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For the sick and the affirm, separated from their parish communities who join us today, that this Mass celebrated for them will bring comfort and joy, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Let us offer our own petitions. We pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. Lord Jesus, you are above all and over all. May we never doubt your love. We ask this in the name of, Je of your Son, who lives and, and lives and forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Having listened to God's word, let us now celebrate his supper in joy and thanksgiving. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, the fruit of the earth and work of human hands. You will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. You will become our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May, may the, the Lord, Lord accept, accept the sacrifice at your hands for the, for the praise, praise and glory of his name, for our, for our good, good and the good, good of all his holy church. We offer sacrifice now in supplication, O Lord, to honor the wondrous ascension of your Son. Grant, we pray, that through this most holy exchange, we too may rise up to the heavenly realm through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We, we lift, lift them up, up to, to the, the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is, is right, right and just. just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For after his resurrection, he plainly appeared to all his disciples and was taken up to heaven in their sight, that he might make us sharers in his divinity. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exult in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the default, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, 
He took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith we proclaim, proclaim your, your death, death, O Lord, Lord and, and profess, profess your, your resurrection, resurrection until you come, come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Thomas, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the serious command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, For the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now, now and forever. forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with, and your, with spirit. your spirit. Let us think of someone that we are not at peace with and let us seek to resolve to forgive them. Lamb of God, you take, you take away, away the sins, sins of the world, world have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am I not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who allow those on earth to celebrate divine mysteries, grant, we pray, that Christian hope may draw us onward to where our nature is united with you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying God by your life. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. Good morning and thank you for celebrating with us. A special word of thanks to Father Peter Choi. Father Peter and his community are building a new church in Maple, Ontario, uh, St. Andre Bisset. And so we thank him and we thank you for your many words of support, your financial support that makes this Mass possible. As we prepare to celebrate, we offer the Mass every Sunday for your intentions. And so again, thanks for your letters. And until next week at this time, rest assured of our prayers, and please keep us in yours. God bless. I will celebrate the light.